Welcome back people to another episode of my whole Homegrown Hero series. We are playing Burton in the Capital One Cup. This should be a very, very, very easy game. We are 26 minutes into the game and we are 1-1 into the game. Vardy gets injured 29 minutes in. Saha has been scoring quite a few goals recently. I think that's two in two episodes now. Uh, Wilson with a penalty. We are 3-1 up 72 minutes into this game. This is in the bag right now. Even if they score in the last seconds, it does not matter. We're through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. We play Man City away in the Premiership. This is probably the hardest game of all fixtures for us in the Premiership because of how good they are and how good their squad is. They've got players like Cavani on their squad. Fernandinho was so, so unlucky right here. That should have been a goal. Our defence was awful in that match. They get a corner. Two minutes and 44 seconds into this match, uh, De Bruyne whips the ball in any second here, um, and the keeper, or the defender, there you go, the keeper catches it and throws it out. So yeah, we are 13 minutes into this game, Grealish, who you have to remember played fantastically well against uh, Chelsea in the last game, manages to set up Henderson, the guy that just can't stop scoring, he scored a uh, hat-trick and then another goal straight after that in a different game. We are 1-0 against Man City. And unfortunately, that's when everything goes downhill. Yaya Torre scores the equaliser. We are only 19 minutes into the game. It should be an even match right now. We should be able to catch up. 21 minutes. So two minutes later, they score yet another goal. And they are finally winning this game. A Sabaleta goal of all players. We let a defender score right now. Um, and unfortunately, it gets even worse. 49 minutes into the game. Can't stop it. We get a corner to be given. Or we give away a corner. Let me word my words a little bit better there. De Bruyne quick passes it to Nasri. Nasri whips a ball in. And Cavani. There you go. Cavani with the third goal. Told you he's a dangerous player. And he always seems to score against me. It is 3 1. And even in the final minutes of the game, we are trying to score a second goal. Uh, and it, it just. We can't do anything in this game. Unfortunately, it was one of them games where nothing goes right for us. The keeper was a great player. Unfortunately, he let in a few too many goals. Nothing he can do to stop that. We move on to the next game of the episode. And as we can see, we are currently sitting at 10th in the league. We're 11 games in and we're 10th, which I'm not complaining about. We're moving on to a simmed game off West Ham. We're playing at home. Vardy gets red carded 27 minutes into the game. Henderson, the man that keeps scoring, scores on the 34th minute. Gets equalised out by Fur. Um, we're losing 2-1 to West Ham. Last couple of minutes into the game and we lose 2-1 couple more international friendlies were playing Italy um, I thought I'll show you a little bit more of that game rather than a really really slim chance of it uh, we're moving on to Sunderland we're playing away so we are playing at the um, Stadium of Light or whatever it's called uh, Dawson gets a yellow card they do get an injury 31 minutes into the game 45 minutes has gone and very very little has happened literally one yellow card and an injury a couple of substitutions in the second half and another yellow card Thomas Ince with a 68th minute goal might be the only goal in this match. I think it is. We win 1-0. That's a lovely three points in that match. And I believe this is the final game of the episode. We're playing Liverpool at home. So, of course, we want Henderson to be man of the match in this episode. Purely on the defence of he is a ex-Liverpool player. He... Um, He's a Liverpool captain as well, so the fact that we've got him, really happy about that. Uh, there you go. That was a really good pass. Unfortunately, Liverpool did get it before it got to my player. Uh, moving on to Balotelli, whipping the ball into Danny Ings. Hits a post, and we're going to play it out here. Henderson controlling the ball really well. Chambers passes it to Saha, who manages to run it past the goalkeeper. I don't know what the keeper was doing right there. But it doesn't matter. We are 1-0 up against Liverpool 15 minutes into the game. Going to dive on the floor there. Danny Ings is probably the only threat in the Liverpool team that I have. Uh, take him down in the box. Unfortunately, uh, I've seen him not be given. Gary Cahill gets a yellow card. And I believe Balotelli gets the penalty here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Balotelli with the penalty. As we should know by now, I always dive left. Uh which unfortunately the keeper was a little bit over to the right and we do allow Balotelli to score the equalising goal 27 minutes into the game he runs into the uh, camera there runs and jumps with the uh, substitutes 
Uh, I don't know who's in goal for them if Mix on the on the on the line there. But yeah, we're one one into the game. Thirty eight minutes into the game here. Callum Wilson getting barged a little bit off of Milner. Might have to look into getting Milner depending on how old he is at this point. Delhi Ali scores a fantastic goal. Not that far out, but it doesn't matter because it is a winning goal right there. We are two one up. Look at how determined he is for that goal. We are 44 minutes into the game now. Henderson whips a ball in. We're wanting him to do something in this match. He gets a assist with, I believe, yeah, there you go, Grelish. Grelish scoring a 3-1 win here. Um, can we get any more goals out of this match? 59 minutes into the game. Wilson to Henderson. Henderson scoring against his former team. Does he celebrate? Of course he does. I don't know where Liverpool are today, but they didn't turn up for this match. We are winning 4-1. And look at this. This would have been a fantastic goal. It's a shame that the defence actually did something for once. But we're winning 4-1. <laughs> I really don't care right now. 4-1 against Liverpool is a fantastic score. 90th minute, into, uh, 90th minute whistle is about to blow any second here. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what happened there. I'm going to show you a re replay before the game finishes. Um, because that is pretty much the final whistle. Uh, Gary Cahill kind of stumbles. Goes to tackle. Um, I'll zoom in on his ankle here. If you look at his ankle, he kind of he kind of hits Balotelli's knee and bends, uh, which is probably the issue there. He's he's broken his ankle, I think. But it's the reaction he has. Obviously, this is a point he knows his foot's in pain. So his foot's in pain, and uh, what is he holding? What the actual hell is he holding? That is not his ankle. That is really not his ankle. Uh, yeah, last game that I'm going to be simming is probably this game. I'm going to sim the Man United game, I and mean, that's going to be it for this episode. Snyderlin scores a goal. Hulk, oh my god, they've got Hulk on their team. Makes it 2-0. Maybe I shouldn't have simmed this game. Henderson scores a 2-1 game. Maybe we can get back in this game. 3-1, probably not at this point. Um, and yeah, we finish the game at 4-1. What a shame. We finished that game 4-1. Really disappointing end of this episode. I'm really sorry about that. I'll catch you next time, guys, for hopefully a better result. Luckily, we've gone up a position. We are currently in 10th. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, hit that like button, leave some feedback, and if you're new, why not sub to me?